Dexterity. Are those are those really? opposite? Huh. They can. They can be. They can be. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you can have right-handed person whose left eye is dominant for one reason or another. Yeah. What does that, that tell you? Suck. What does that tell you? Like a guitar, you know? A guitar, it's like, i got to do it this way. But a gun, it's like, you know what? Really, that secondary, <laughs> the aiming of it, it's going to just happen. Yeah. <laughs> Not really worried about that. Just, just, just no, make some dead stuff with it. That's yeah, all we care about. It's because you're gonna. <laughs> and and I'd, I've never been in the military, so I could be totally full of shit right now. Um, <clears throat> Can't Google it, keep it. No, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but your your eye is gonna like it, it's if you you point out your hand, you and uh, your your hand will automatically line up to whatever your dominant eye is for your pointing. I love that the military has all these weird little fucking rules. <laughs> they have all these weird little like life hacks. Like why can't they be more loosey goosey with the way they they, they get military shit down? too strict? They're just too cute. Like they come up with shit that's so fucking cute. You like, can tell none of us have been in the military right now. No, they breathe that word out. <laughs> but, uh, but like, yeah, I have a friend who was in the Marines, and he was like, uh, you know, they only send us so many walls to get shot at from. Like you, you have to put up a wall so when they shoot you, it hits the wall and not you. Yeah, it's they're cute, like I said. <laughs> but if you run out of those, what you do is you just take a burlap sack and you just fill it with sand. Yeah, turns out same thing. But that's <clears throat> come on. Yeah, they got giant. They have giant like boxes that you just fill with the dirt, and they're like <laughs> three feet wide by three feet. You know, three feet by three feet. Um, yeah, yeah, because well, I'm. I actually know all the reasons that that happens, but that's lame and not funny, so... Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> waka waka! Yeah, yeah, well, just sand, sand disintegrates a bullet as it moves forward. Mm. But yeah, yeah, but, uh... Because uh, that's, like, how gun ranges normally do it. Like, whatever you're shooting into in the back is normally sand that they can just replace. Mm. And, and uh, old tires. <laughs> yeah, tires. No, no, old sure. tires and that babies that didn't learn their lessons. Uh, they'll, they'll, yeah, uh, they'll, they'll use tires because they're an easy film. Uh, in... in we have uh, we call them slippers. You guys call them flip flops. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but um, thongs, is thongs, is thongs. Australians. All right, we're, gonna, them. we're gonna put a pin <laughs> in that fucking digression. I'm gonna write that down. Uh, That's the only note I'm gonna leave for Amy. I <laughs> <laughs> hope she listens to this. Anyway, she won't. <laughs> <laughs> this is like such a build up. Anyway, they make uh, slippers out of tires. That's all. It's fucking the thing. <laughs> Sometimes the journey is not worth it. <laughs> so All That's right. what I want on my tombstone. <laughs> Sometimes the journey's not worth it. It's, it's just It's definitely not. So uh <laughs> what got you into comedy, Taylor? Oh. When know. did you start being funny? Start? I don't know. When did the funny when did the funny dream kick in? I think in? when my body started to fail. <laughs> um Jesus. <laughs> What, what are we Did you 31? Is it like... <laughs> it was I've like, known you for a while. You've been funny for a minute. Did everything... Did you just, it was six. Yeah. Six? That's now, when your body started to fail, huh? This goes into a wonderful story about why I don't like GMOs. You know? So, here's the thing about GMOs and my body I'm and comedy and all of this. Yeah, no, I didn't uh, check. Yeah, I was like... This. <laughs> Did you want some of this shit? Because <laughs> we doubled up on the puff cord. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, uh, non-GMO. Pop there you go. corners. Also non good. Yes, tasting. Terrible. Our do not taste good. Yeah, nothing to do with the GMOs, yeah, just yeah. the texture of Apparently GMOs popcorn. make things taste better. Well, they can. I yeah, mean yeah. I, they can, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah. You tasted bread recently? Fuck. <laughs> it's incredible. Best, yeah. It's poisonous to like thirty percent of the population <laughs> now, but but the fucking thing is just gluey as fuck. <laughs> um, anyway, no but uh, but no. Uh, but but uh, what a comedian say? Yeah, but seriously. Um, yeah, no, because I, I, where I grew up was in a, uh, it was a field in Hawaii. Uh, my family's been in Hawaii since 1910. We had the first uh, grocery store and the first um, movie theater. And then uh, they used to ship the movies to the other movie theater, and they would drive them back and forth. Hmm. I remember this one time they had a, uh, the man who fell to earth with David Bowie. I'm not mm. that old, but I've heard the story. <laughs> and uh, that that shit was like flammable. That's why the end of Inglorious Bastards makes so much sense because like if yeah, celluloid. Yeah. Oh yeah, if it's just like it just goes up. So, yeah. uh, but it went up. <laughs> the man fell to earth, burnt up on this like side drive around the mountain in the middle of nowhere. Oh my god! And the whole the van caught, caught on yeah. fire. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, yeah, and then. Uh, <laughs> But that was like the fucking 70s. They just pushed the thing off, and then it's probably still down there covered in vines for it's, some it's movie be- to film. I was going to say, if it went to the ocean, it became a, 
a nice little reef, right? For uh, oysters, so that you could jump on them later. <laughs> God damn it. It's, uh, <laughs> those are all art installations now. Like, why dump a perfectly good military jeep when you could put some mannequins in it and make a statement and take some underwater yeah. photography? Um, but, nah, but here's the thing. So we've been there a while, and the field turned into a Japanese golf course like within six months. Hmm. And whatever chemicals they put to make a golf course happen just fucked me up hard. Hmm. So I got a polyp under the eye of my left, and it scratched up so bad it's like kind of unusable still. And then my left hearing went out on that ear, hmm. and it's still like 30% of my other side. So I'm like a totally normal person appearance-wide, but really messed up. And then I got this throat fucking thing that's derailed me. But you asked why I got into comedy. Yeah, yeah, no. Just... Because, because... <laughs> Uh, it's also like the doctor, like, why? so why are you in here today? <laughs> well, here's why I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> Same story. How do you know how I talk to doctors? Why are you so accurate with your descriptions? We do our research we here. <laughs> the one one today. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> no, nah, anyway, the point is, like, I was one of three white kids in a school of 300, mm-hmm. and I was also the most sickly. And then white people were not super uh, enjoyed at the time Mm because we overthrew the kingdom. Totally valid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally valid. Um, And so all that stuff was going on, and I just got humor as a way to um, make things cool. I think what it was was just getting a sort of a casuality to things that fit the environment, and that casuality came out as being funny to some people. Mm -hmm. And then it just kind of, that's been my coping mechanism ever since. What did what, you? Oh yeah, sorry, yeah what, did, your turn. what did you watch like growing up? Like, were you watching? Like, since I feel like I watched a bunch of older um, movies and, and things mm-hmm. that were kind of sent to us. So I'm just kind of curious sometimes what helped form someone's comic views of the world. I've heard you know? Elvis was big in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> you are so fucking racist. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean. Man, we grew up at a great time. Like, if you're in your late 20s to, like, mid-late 30s, I would say you, there was some... It was choice. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, for real. It was. The Cartoons were better. They really were, even though they're, like, you watch them now and they don't hold up. At mm-hmm. the time, they were, like, so much more interesting than real life at the time. The 80s was just nonsense. And then there's, like, multiple hours of battling robots in space. Like, it was insane. Um... <laughs> Sorry. I think we're talking about Gundam Wing here. Is that we're, we're talking about Voltron. Gundam. We're Voltron. talking about Voltron. Voltron we're talking yeah. about Transformers. What was the one with the that? fist that would fly off? The fists. Yeah, yeah they would shoot off. their fist off. And then I think uh, there was... GoBots or... No, no, it was like a giant. It was a giant robot. Orbots. Go, mighty Orbots. Was there... Because I remember there was a dude who shot his fists, and then there was a dudette who shot her breasts. Okay, um, we're talking about uh, You're thinking of shows, a not... Gigantor. Yeah, yeah, You're thinking a... of a 1950s Japanese anime hit, no. Gigantor. The, well, well stop was describing it? Gigantor, then. Gigantor was the first uh, anime. So well, that's, uh... Hey, man, it was military military TV. It could have been whatever. How did you know, know Patrick was 89 years old? That guy is finally... <laughs> He runs <laughs> impressively. I have to give you my gold now. That's how it works. He's doing Iron Man. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. You know, I honest to God, stand-up was always really interesting to me because mm-hmm. it was a person commanding a room, and I had never seen anything like that. And we had HBO for the first few years until they required you to get a box, and then my parents wouldn't pay for it anymore. Yeah. But those first, like, 12 years of my life, was uh, I would just wait for all the Comedy Central presents. And that was that 80s, like, Boston, everybody gets a special time. Yeah. So yeah. I, it, it's hard to even say who got my yes, attention at the time, yeah. you know? Because there was so many. And the people that people say are great now um, like Bill uh, Bill Hicks, Hicks. Bill Hicks yeah. and you know like I remember watching the specials when they were first coming on and, and loving them and probably being way too young for him but then he held the same weight as like the next no name guy that came on and had a 30 minute after yeah. so I mean just hours of that well, it's like Star Search and like Ed McMahon, sort of. They just like they send these. They you you do well on Star Search, and then all of a sudden you either have your own sitcom or you're on Johnny Car or Johnny Carson as well. Would yeah, also John, send Johnny a lot of like true. send a lot of careers off. And all you had to do was just not piss Johnny Carson off, <laughs> like just not fucking like make him chuckle once, and then you're fucking you, you're out there. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Star Search until just now. <laughs> I literally there was I would have never brought that up. 
Well, there's a weird path from Star Search to Mickey Mouse Club to 2017, if you break oh, it yeah. down. Like, they all came on Star Search, and then, like, you know, Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, Ryan Gosling, the other yeah. guy from NSYNC. Abe Vigoda. Abe Vigoda. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking! Have you seen the original 1950s one? There's this part where it does every single kid, and then they save Roy for the last, and he's just a very large, almost 60 year old man wearing the ears, and he turns around and just goes, "Roy!" And it no. gets me. Yeah, it gets me every time. Is this real? Yeah, it gets me every time. I mean, the Ava Gunn thing is, but this is totally real. Yeah, yeah. Oh um, Roy, <laughs> I'm a gee grip. Uh, I have to call Roy that to do that every time. <laughs> And my C game. Yeah, Roy was the chaperone for sure. <laughs> All right. So when did you uh, when did you set sails for America? That was the longest. <laughs> that was the longest fucking part of all, man. <laughs> <sighs> that one was rough. <laughs> That took forever. Lost a lot of cousins. Most people. <laughs> we lived on breadfruit. Uh, the plague took most of us. Breadfruit and coconuts. Wait, wait, Not the green ones either. Wait, wait, wait. Is breadfruit a thing? Did you just make breadfruit? No, nah, breadfruit's a thing. Breadfruit was a staple uh, carbohydrate to the ancient I've Hawaiians. never heard of this. Tell breadfruit? me what breadfruit, breadfruit is. Yeah. Is it, it looks... a fruit or is it a bread? Uh, uh, jury's out, man. I'm going to go fruit because <laughs> it's fucking not that great. But it's, Does it's, it happen on a tree? Have you had bread it's recently? Content. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> it's not that. But... Breadfruit? No, the, okay. You ever played Yoshi's Island? <laughs> yeah. You know the way melons look in that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how breadfruit looks. Like this big green dragon scale, like Game of Thrones egg. Okay. Um, hmm. And they grow like big avocados. And when you break them open, what makes them breadfruit is the just super starchy, not at all sweetness of it. Okay. So okay. you, you okay. got to like, most people fry, like pan fry them and stuff. Can't really bake with them or anything. But yeah, huh. it's a staple. I'm gonna see if uh, Whole Foods has that. I can try that out. We'll see. There's uh, there's parts of me that still kick my own ass in my head where I could have taken any number of just bullshit local things and just with the advent of Whole Foods, had I oh. known, just pitched it out as like, oh yeah, noni juice, just fucking deli- <laughs> it's so good for you. Just swallow the black tar licorice that is noni juice. What's it do? No one fucking knows. <laughs> it's disgusting. Whatever I say on the label, that's what. It's- all the supermodels drink it. You know what else uh, drinks it? Uh, rats. <laughs> rots in their yard. It's true. Yeah, okay, but yeah. yeah. You know who hasn't died from drinking noni juice? Nobody. <laughs> They've all died. Every noni drinker in time That's so why we don't hear died. about it that often. Every person who sips it and then tries to warn people <laughs> and doesn't make it there. They also had crippling osteoporosis. So who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I mean that's yeah, quite common. Okay, so yeah. you uh, you set you, you you set sail you set sail here. Yeah, uh, here's for the school. Th- no, I wish fucking yeah. So let's just do all this. So I got into Brown. We have to I, we have to talk about yeah. comedy. At no, some I love point. it. That's all I'm saying. We got to talk about Com- why you're here. No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> comedy is what happens between the lines. No one looks at the lines and goes ha. That's a good. No, this is like thing. one of my favorite podcasts. That was a good this is line. one of my favorite ones already. <laughs> Never. But I feel like Amy's going to be like, they talked about zero comedy, no. zero theater. She's got to read between the non questions. <laughs> What's going on right now? I don't even think we said my name. No, I said no, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Do you want to say it yourself? Mr. Hall? No, he's done a bull. All right, all right, good. It's going to take some sleuthing or wait, but. Uh, We're also going to post a picture of you and your name when we post this episode. That's oh, true. I saw you guys have a nice procedure going. We, 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 yeah. uh, uh, Amy, Amy has a nice procedure. Yeah, we, it's Amy. <laughs> this looks like what every YouTuber puts in the back of them to oh, like, yeah. be like, I'm creative. Except this is like a real room that no, people yeah, do yeah, stuff no, this, in. This is all this is Amy's like, husband. This, yeah. uh, this, uh, this is Chris's stuff. Uh, it's there's awesome. A, I love it. There's a lefty using a right-handed thing. A little Jimi Hendrix. Hey, hey. I mean, that's just... That's <laughs> it's just also... Pathos on the wall. Very three-dimensional. Um, Loved Jimi Hendrix growing up. I did. My dad met him. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did a concert called... Concert. Called Rainbow Road, which is... Uh, if you haven't heard of it, it's because it's the worst thing Jimi Hendrix has ever done. Oh, wow. Yeah. We have a mountain called Haleakala. Super sacred. But in the 60s, everyone was like... 
we love nature too. And then the Hawaiians were like, no, you fucking don't.